Welp, I've gone insane. How are you guys doing? Hello everyone, it is currently day 5 of NaNoWriMo and my word count for yesterday, day 4, was 7,151. I just got off of work and I have yet to write today, but when I do, my word count will be annotated here. This is how many words I'm at as of day five. I really hope that's a good number and I actually got some writing done today. I have the urge to apologize for the crookedness of my video. Like, the books are crooked. It's not the video, it's kind of my books. Cause the floor in this room is kind of like this and the camera's sitting on a desk. So the camera's like that, but I've adjusted that straight, but the bookshelves are still tilted, but I'm still straight. So this video does not know what to do with itself. I feel like no matter what I do, the video will never look completely straight because this room is just crooked all around. So yes, if that distracts you, I am sorry. But today I just wanted to make this short, more relaxed video and ask you guys, how are you doing with NaNoWriMo? I'm dying. Like, I am literally dying. Not with my word counts. I'm keeping up with my word counts, obviously. But just me in general, myself, NaNoWriMo is killing me to death. Of course it would kill me to death, it wouldn't kill me to life, but guys, I am going crazy. The fact that I even have time to film and edit these videos is a miracle. Partly because just eight days ago I was in North Carolina and I have just moved back to the state of Iowa and I'm still going absolutely insane and that I'm having something to do every single night. Like I get off work and I have something to do that evening so I have like this gap where I have to write or to do videos or to clean. And so I am just making my word counts. Like the word count for each day is 1,667 words if I'm correct. I'm making like 100 more words above that, like just barely. I don't know about you guys, but the first week of NaNoWriMo, I used to start out really strong and get like 500 past my, you know, goal. I tried to shoot for 2,000 a day, actually. But this year, I cannot start out strong at all. I'm gonna have to wait till the end of this month to actually get anything really going. But nevertheless, the fact that I'm meeting the word goal is what's important. I shouldn't try and push myself to do more than I actually can. But tomorrow I have nothing on my schedule, so I'm going to clean my area and try to refocus and spend the whole day tomorrow just writing. And speaking of tomorrow, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit how my writing process goes, which means like how do I actually write, like how do I break up my time. Because at the beginning of every NaNoWriMo, I do this thing where I sit down at an empty document and I'm like, yes, I am going to write 2,000 words. I am not going to get up from this desk until I write 2,000 words. And then I end up staring at a blank page for two hours. Guys, 2,000 words is a really big task. It can kind of be overwhelming. And like right in the beginning, you can get stuck of just staring at this document, not sure where to start. Or you can write like 200 words and then be like, I don't want to write anymore, but I have 1,800 more to go until I'm done for just today. It can be a little nerve wracking, I'll admit it. I think everyone who has done NaNoWriMo will admit that the word count is insane and overwhelming. But you know what isn't overwhelming? Writing for 20 minutes. I do this thing where I'll get all set up, I'll get my laptop up, the document, I'll get the music in my ears, and I'll set a timer on my phone for 20 minutes. And I'll just write, and I'll be like, I have to write until that alarm goes off. The alarm's gonna go off soon, I'm just gonna keep going until that alarm goes off. And once those 20 minutes are done, I'll set a timer for 10 minutes and give myself a 10 minute break. So I basically do writing sessions, 20 minutes of writing and then a 10 minute break, and then 20 minutes of writing and then a 10 minute break. I found that with each session, I can usually do a thousand words for 20 minutes Usually, sometimes that does not happen, but most of the time I try to get a thousand for each session. And that's a little less overwhelming than sitting there and having to write 2,000 words. It's a lot easier to break up the time and just do 20 minutes break, 20 minutes break, 20 minutes break. If I get into the groove of my writing, like if I'm in a really intense scene, I will sometimes switch it to 45 minutes of writing and then a 15 minute break. I'm going to kill these dogs that are barking. So yeah, I would recommend that to you if you're feeling overwhelmed, like if you're writing maybe 200, 300 words and you're just like, uh, I have no desire to write. I would recommend doing the timer thing. Maybe you need to make it longer. Maybe you need to make it shorter. Maybe you need to do a half an hour and then a 10 minute break. Just whatever works best for you, do the system that works for you. On my 10 minute breaks, I usually go to Tumblr and I look in the NaNoWriMo tag and I listen to a bunch of other people on Tumblr screaming into the void over the fact that they're trying to write a novel in 30 days. But if you watch my NaNoWriMo survival kit video, you'll know that I also have been coloring on my breaks. <sighs> so shiny. I just started this one here. If you look, I'm making plants. That's what I do. Productive. I'm writing a novel. I can color. So yes, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you about today. Just kind of how I break up my writing, how the process has been going for me. I want to know how the process has been going for you. Are you hitting your word counts? Are you 
exceeding past your word counts or are you kind of falling short? Just let me know what you're at and how you're doing. You know, like mentally, are you stressed out or have you managed to divide up your time in NaNoWriMo? Just let me know how you are doing. Tomorrow, I'm going to type up and hit my word count for the day. And then after that, I think I'm going to pull up the notebook and try and do some on pen and paper. Sometimes I tend to be a little bit more thorough on paper as opposed to the computer. So once I at least hit my word count, I may put my thoughts to the paper and see if any new ideas spring from that. So if you're feeling a little stuck, like in your story, I would recommend taking a break if you can and trying to get back to the old pen and paper. So yes, my name is Josie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing dinner rumble and I will see you later. Just for the record, it looks like these videos are coming up every Tuesday and Friday for NaNoWriMo. That seems like the best time for my filming and posting dates. So, Tuesday and Friday, you will get your NaNoWriMo videos. Thank you guys who are watching me. I appreciate it.